Open homebrew.sh on your browser and you will find a command for installing homebrew. We have to run this command from macOS terminal. So let's open our terminal and paste this command as it is and click enter. Now enter your password and you will see all the information of directories which will be created with this installation. So just press enter. That is the return button on your Mac. And that's it. The installation of homebrew is completed. Now we will be searching Redis package on brew. For that we have simple command brew search redis it will return list of packages so here we have redis package uh, various packages from redis uh, we will be installing this one we also have redis at 6.0 6.2 sorry so that is to install particular version we will just install brew install redis so with this we will install the latest version i think that's 7.2 it will take some time based on your internet connection all right so it started and already completed so we have that is installed on our local system and you can see that to start redis we have this simple command brew services start redis we can start with this command this is brew's uh, command so if i paste and run this command so thing with this command is your redis will be started in the background so redis is started on 6379 which is default port but we don't see anything on the screen here because it started in the background we can start redis with the redis service command uh, which will start redis in your daemon itself and we can see logs for the redis so let's first stop this uh, background thread of redis with uh, brew services stop command now I am using redis server command directly uh, redis hyphen server and just hit enter no need to pass any parameters by default to start on local it will use all default setting port is 6379 so simple command redis hyphen server and we have started our local redis instance now we have redis uh, local instance running on our system uh, we want to also see uh, GUI for redis redis inside is a popular one so i will do again brew search command just enter redis brew search redis and it returns some casks casks are basically ui based uh, packages and here you can see redis inside right so just install this one with simple brew install uh, redis insight just pasting it so this gives you a gui to access your local redis server this installation will take few seconds based on your internet speed okay so almost done and we have our that is inside installing yeah it takes some time because it's a GUI based application all right so we have our redis insight installed and let me start it when you open the design site for the first time you will see this option to select all the user agreements and stuff so just select according to your choice i will disable notifications agree with the agreement service agreement no insights that's it uh, submit so now we have our gui loaded for redis insight I will start a local Redis server so that we can add this server in GUI. So local by default as you know it start in 6379. So I will just add a Redis database. You will see 6379 it's a default one. You can change this port with hyphen p parameter but we just add our default no username password because there is no security for local default application and database is added successfully. So if I click here I can see all the different options uh, sorry different keys which i have already added in this server so i will show you how we can add a new key in a redis server with this so here you see plus key button you can select any type of uh, any data type of redis i will select string and just give some ttl give some name give some value just a sample and add it so on the left side you will see there are total eight keys now the new key is added there is also cli mode you can just set key value just normal redis commands 
I will set test one and value one. Okay, is a success response and in list I will refresh and see if okay the test one is here. And the test which we added had a hundred TTL. So now you can see with time it's going down. After some time it will expire. I will just refresh and see what happens when it expires. So it's expired. So we see the error. There's no key over here, and the key is gone from the list. The test one will stay because it has no TTL. So there are a lot of other things to explore in the. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if this video helps. Bye bye.